ladies and gentlemen, my heart can't take this anymore. I am quitting collecting. I'm sorry. But before I do that, let's get into these insane Star Wars announcements. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Riley Reviews back again with a reveal video, and today is a big Star Wars day. I feel like it's only Star Wars at this point. Hot Toys are just milking everything when it comes to Star Wars at the moment, and fans like me are in a lot of trouble. But if you enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe button. We are on that road to 4,000 subs. And hit the like button if you are in shambles like myself, deciding what the hell you're going to order and cancel because... This is getting overwhelming, and we are going to talk into the announcements because there is plenty of them announced just about like an hour ago, late night LA. You already know how it is. I'm in West Coast, so I see this stuff like around 9 to 10 p.m., and I can't believe what I'm witnessing. I can't believe. So, so I'm going to talk about this first. We're going to get into this, the Obi-Wan uh, Mando uh, armor version, and we're going to get to the, the little juicier stuff in a bit, but let's first talk about this. What, what do we think about this one? This is a little interesting one. I feel like not a lot of people expected this. It looks like they're just using the Clone Wars Obi-Wan sculpt that just released a couple days ago, actually, and are just using that one and popped it onto this uh, Mando armor. And honestly, this is a really cool looking figure. I cannot lie. This is pretty sick. It's not going to be one where I have to worry about because I just don't need it, but I can appreciate this. This looks really great. Um, I know people have reservations with the sculpt. Let me know what you guys think. People said that he's got the mustache uh, problem. Hot Toys don't know how to do the mustache and sculpt them to make them look real. What do y'all think about that? I think it's, I, I, I somewhat agree. I feel like the mustache does look a little weird. The little open mouth mustache area is just, it's just not, uh, not too ideal, but it's not like a deal breaker in my, in, in my sense. But yeah, this is a cool looking figure. I love how he just has like the lightsaber, just the whole Mando outfit. I mean, y'all know this if you watch the Clone Wars show and this is actually an exclusive. So you can only get, I believe it's 2000 in selected markets. So this is going to be one that's going to sell out. So honestly, this is a, I mean, like, look at that. That's pretty badass. I can't even lie. That is, that is pretty sick. It's a cool display option. And just seeing a Mandalorian armor with a freaking blue lightsaber. That's, that's badass. That's pretty sick. And like I said, this isn't really one where I'm like annoyed with, or like, why did they do this? Because again, it's limited to 2000. It's not that big of a deal. When Hot Toys do these stuff that's very niche and different, but they make that limited number where it's only 2000, I really have no issues with it. I'm, I'm not like, oh, why did they do this? this? Is a waste of time. No, this is it's perfectly fine. They had a they only made it a specific amount, and that's just how it's gonna be. And let's see what it comes with here. It comes with his LED saber powered by USB. That's nice. You're really getting almost nothing with this figure. <laughs> this is a very bare bones piece. But like I said, it's a really nice, it's a nice announcement. I'm, I'm happy about people getting this. Let me know if you're going to pick it up. I mean, I did want the Clone Wars Obi-Wan. I prefer that one with the, with the one that just released, which I'm probably going to get. I'm pretty likely getting because I want to pair it with my Clone Wars Anakin. But yeah, it, it looks it looks pretty good. I, I, I have no issues with this. And the fact that it's limited, let me know what you guys think. Are you going to hunt for this? Are you worried about it? Because I don't know. Is, is it going to be a tough one to acquire? Is it going to sell out and shoot up on the market? We'll have to wait and see. But overall, it's a nice uh, figure. Uh, not not going to be for everyone, obviously, but um, I can appreciate it. It's, re it's really good looking. But, I mean, I'm sorry, but like, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way because we have to talk about this. A freaking Darth Sidious? Are you kidding me? A Darth Sidious announcement from Hot Toys. And that just blew my mind. As soon as I saw it, I was like, holy shit. I got to throw up my computer right now. I need to talk about this because a Darth Sidious from Revenge of the Sith was something that a lot of people like myself I've been waiting for for a very long time from hot toys i know we got the palpatine from um the original trilogy obviously and now we have the clone wars palpatine that i know a lot of people are probably gonna be like shit time to cancel time to cancel time to cancel we'll get into that but um let's just talk about it because this is an exciting announcement i mean first impressions we gotta talk about the sculpt let me get a close okay what do we think because that's what i like talking about first always what do we think about this because to me I think it's really great. I think it's it's a really great likeness. People have been saying though, is he a little too freaky-ish? I don't know because he, he is he's giving a little Pennywise vibes, a little Pennywise vibes. But <laughs> I think that overall, that's kind of like his that's his character. He's supposed to be like the creepy, sinister, like 
you know, no, no, no. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry. That's pretty, pretty bad impression probably, but I think this looks solid. I think it's great. It's not obviously, maybe it's not perfect, but I think it's as good as it could be, or it could be better, but I don't know. I just think it's fine. I think it's perfectly fine. If it stays like this from proto to final, I'm a happy camper. I think it's great, but um, yeah, his snarling teeth is kind of insane. I love these Sith eyes. It is just so badass. And I know people have said they're, they maybe have preferred the other outfit. We're going to talk about that, but right now on the sculpt, I think it's great. I think it's creepy as hell. I think it resembles Darth Sidious. I mean, look at this. That is so sick. This is so freaking sick. Look at how creepy his hands look. And yeah, this is this is just a really exciting announcement. This is really cool. And I know, like I said, this outfit. So I guess what I'm from what I'm remembering, he has a different outfit when he's um fighting Mace Windu or when he's about to get, you know, he's about to get he's about to get owned by Mace Windu, but Anakin comes and saves the day. But I think that this is the a different outfit. This is later when he fights um Yoda later into the uh, movie so if you wanted the one with that's i think i believe is darker you're you, you just don't have it with this unfortunately but to me uh it's not a deal breaker i would have preferred that one to be honest but i'm not going to complain it's at the end of the day it's still sidious on my shelf and it looks badass from revenge of the sith that is my that is my heart and my everything revenge of the sith is my favorite star wars movie of all time let me know your favorite in the comments below are you with me prequel cool fans prequel cool babies we are eating so damn good and let's go i gotta do it let's freaking go I, I, I'm maybe a little louder this video, maybe a little more uh, jumpy because this just got me so excited. I mean, this looks incredibly badass. Look at the actual effects from the force effects. That is so cool looking. Like it looks like it's like actually pulsating from his fingertips. Like that is a really sick addition. Usually they look more cheapier. I feel like hopefully this isn't one of those like Photoshop things, but to me, it looks improved from other Palpatines because I had uh, the original OT Palpatine in the past. This is cool saying Yoda here. Is he going to get reissued? I don't know. I have this Yoda, so I'm fine if it doesn't. But if it gets reissued, it is what it is. I think this might just be the older figure and they're just throwing it here. I, I don't think it's going to get a 2.0. Maybe it will. I don't know. But that's just my thoughts. But I mean, just like look at that. Look at how freaky he looks. And let me know what you guys think. Did you order the Clone Wars Palpatines? I know we have a Clone Wars version of Palpatine that now people are probably going to be like, shit, do I even need it now? I might cancel it because we've got this here, which... To me, this is like the ultimate Palpatine now figure to own in my eyes. That's that's my take. But you do get different display opportunities with the Clone Wars Palpatine because he has a stern face. It's more like him semi-smiling. This one's him like at like the ultimate power, freaky, holy shit, this guy's going to obliterate me, power. And I, I love the expression. I think it's great. Like, look at that. that. That just screams Revenge of the Sith to me. All the scenes of him jumping, fighting Yoda, like, that's all I'm seeing right now, and I am so damn excited about it. I love it. Again, like, just look at that. Look at how creepy he looks. Yes, he maybe looks a little extra overly freaky, but at the end of the day, it's a figure. I mean, I, I think it looks, he looks sinister, and he looks badass just how he is in the film. And yes, like, look at this. This is so freaking sick. This is so dope. This is such an, a dope announcement. I know a lot of people are going to be hyped about this one. They, they did a great job on these blogger picks because, I mean, or just photos announcements because this is looking really freaking cool. You get his whole look at his body here. Looks like the, like, robes, the black robes maybe have a little wire in them. That's a good touch. Doesn't have the double dual wield sabers though, which I believe the Clone Wars has, so that's kind of unfortunate, but makes sense, obviously, given the film. And this is everything you're getting here. The lightsaber is not going to look that good, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's just Photoshop trickery. I wish it did look that good, but again really not coming with much of anything the display base is also what do we think about these display bases because they've been kind of tackling these little taller bases and i don't know how i feel about it yet i feel like just them with the regular squares were were preferred more so but maybe i have to get these in hand first because i haven't even gotten this so i don't know i just feel like the rise with it with the circle i don't know it's gonna switch up stuff from our og rectangle bases that we're all used to but it's here nor there it still looks really great and again i'm just so damn excited about this i think that this likeness is it's great i think it's great it's not perfect but i don't give a shit this is this is incredible i think this is awesome the whole sith eyes you can see the shadowing around his eyes it just whoo and his teeth just look like absolutely freaky like like i said giving me giving me pennywise smile vibes giving me pennywise vibes it's gonna give me nightmares because and this just like that is just so palpatine right there i absolutely love this this is definitely coming home obviously I think I need this. You, you get Dark Side Anakin and this figure next to each other. Revenge of the Sith display complete. Uh, I'm sorry. That's all you really need there. And I, again, 
I absolutely love this. I think it's great. And yeah, I'm happy for people picking it up. Let me know if you're as excited about it in the comments down below with me because holy shit, this just looks great. I absolutely love it. And lastly, we got to talk about this. This is this is interesting. A Imperial Commando. This is an interesting one because I feel like, like everyone's saying in the comments, is he too skinny? And honestly, I think I'm with you. I think that he looks way too skinny here. Shout out to the uh, black suit, fixed black suit Toby fans out there. We're keeping the trend alive. I don't care. Even though it's more than likely not going to get touched, but hey, I don't care. I want that Toby fixed and I'm going to try the best possible. But like I said, this doesn't look to be accurate. So the way um, uh, commandos look, because they look a lot more bulky in the shoulders. You notice here, his shoulder armor just looks incredibly like it's just hanging off. Like, that makes sense for the regular troopers that are like very skinny but they're supposed to be like kind of bigger built these figures and the fact that they just didn't do that i don't know like i i i just don't it just sets it off for me like this just looks like a clone trooper now republic commandos and imperial commandos are supposed to be more like just bulky like it, it just i don't know it it throws me off personally but to other people i understand you don't give a shit. this is still great but like even his helmet like his helmet looks bigger than his body. Like, is that just me? Am I going crazy? I don't know. It, it The proportions are just, they're not doing it so much for me. But I do love this visor. I think that's really cool. I don't know why they wanted to blur that out and show a grenade like we've seen a thousand times. But this is cool. I like how they have the LED visor and it's actually light up. It's not just paint or something. That is a very nice touch. So I'll give you, I'll give you props there, Hot Toys. But like I said, making it, and this is exclusive. This is 2,500 again. This is going to sell out hands down. No, ch no chance about it. I think this is going to sell out for sure. So if you want it, get it right away because this is going to be one of those ones that's going to sell out and probably shoot up by like $100 or something. That's my take. But again, I just, the shoulders are just really throwing me off. I, I feel like commandos are supposed to be brawny. Like, is that a word? Probably not. It's too late here. But like I said, it's still a cool figure, but it's not it's just not accurate that's just how it is and i know people don't give a shit about that i understand but to me i just feel like that's such an important and integral detail of the figure i don't really know how hot toys missed that him him being bulkier but like i said it is what it is at the end of the day it's announced hopefully maybe someone can start a trend out there I've, i know the clone fans are out there the, the clone armor fans i've seen y'all on instagram saying this looks so bad this is he's way too skinny fix imperial commando maybe like, like hashtag i don't know just saying just throwing it out there but um, like i said it's still a dope announcement but to me it just it just looks off to me it doesn't it doesn't look it just doesn't look correct it doesn't look in scale but like i said hot toys fans star wars fans in particularly are uh, in big trouble i mean this is starting to get to just ridiculous levels we just got may 4th with which had star killer like where it's like to people that's a dopo revan that's a dopo mall that's a dopo and then we get this just three more like a week or two after or two weeks after like what the hell is going on and marvel and dc are just like like hot toys are just like i don't give a shit about them like let's, let's that's that's let's talk about star wars star wars is, is hot right now and i mean it's really not really that hot but it's just that they don't have a lot going with marvel and dc at the moment that hot toys are just going like let's go back to the past and give iconic characters like this but i will say it was nice seeing Revenge of the Sith announcement, but where is my Grievous? General Grievous, where are you? Because that is one of the figures that I've always wanted my entire collecting life. I've wanted a Hot Toys Grievous. Put some die cast pieces. I don't care. It's not going to hopefully not be a floppy ass body like Sideshow because I had that figure and I, I got rid of it. It's, it was just it was just a nightmare, nightmare. And I am just praying to the Hot Toys gods that we get a damn General Grievous because we just got Revenge of the Sith announcement. Just saying, just saying, but... Like I said, I don't want to keep this video too long. I hope you guys did enjoy it. This Palpatine is 100% coming home. I'm going to skip the other ones. But like I said, Hot Toy Star Wars, decisions will have to be made, ladies and gentlemen, because it is getting to ridiculous levels. I know there's a lot of people out there questioning, what the hell am I going to do? Am I going to cancel this? Am I going to get this? Like I said, this Palpatine, there is a Clone Wars one that a lot of people might not think is as hot anymore, but he does have that stern kind of, I think it's like a stern expression. He doesn't really have a smile or like a semi-smile, but not with the teeth from what I'm remembering. So you kind of have that opportunity to get that sculpt and put it on this. I don't know how that's going to look proportion-wise, but like I said, you still have kind of a reason why to get it. But to me, 
now it was like Clone Wars Palpatine I might get. Now it's it might have to be on the cutting board. I'm just going to get the sculpt from it maybe, but this is a 100% coming home. I need Emperor Palps in my Revenge of the Sith display. I cannot wait to display that, and I am just so hyped. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like, hit the subscribe, and bang that bell notification so you don't miss any future content. Did post the in our Batman review about like five days ago. You guys have been showing some great support there. So if you haven't already, check it out because I believe that is the best Batman figure I've ever had. Maybe the best figure in my collection. So don't mean to overhype it, but check out that damn video. And I'm going to post some more in art content about it. But I don't know why I'm talking like this. Thank you all for watching. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments. What is coming home? What are you going? What are you thinking about the Palpatine? Do you love the likeness? Do you love um, the representation they show of a Revenge of the Sith? All the other announcements that are limited, you know, drop it all in the comments below. And again, stay safe out there, Star Wars fans, because it is getting absolutely insane. And everyone just hold on to your butts because more is probably coming. Take care, guys.